J.C. Skryzak, for the first time since 2015, the state of Illinois has a complete budget. News Channel 20's Rachel Droz has details on how the votes unfolded today in the House. Illinois' historic budget impasse has come to an end. Debate on the floor getting heated at times as lawmakers voted on what some say is the most important vote they'll ever take. The House does override the veto of the governor. Today's votes met by cheers. House Speaker Michael Madigan speaking to the chamber at the end of session, thanking the members for their hard work. People in this chamber did not do what was easy today but we did what was right for the future of our state. Governor Bruce Rauner responding to today's override, saying Madigan's, quote, tax and spend plan is not balanced, does not cut enough spending or pay down enough debt, and does not help grow jobs or restore confidence in government. It proves how desperately we need real property tax relief and term limits. During the debate, many lawmakers saying the looming threat of being downgraded to junk bond status drove their vote today. The state is imploding financially. Others, though, saying this budget plan was not ready to be voted on. Before the votes, House Republican Leader Jim Durkin saying he opposes the budget package, but no matter the outcome, there's still work left to be done. Our legacy must not be determined on today's action. And before adjourning, Speaker Michael Madigan making this statement. I wish you all get some well-deserved rest and solitude and enjoy your time away because we may be back before long. Unfortunately, despite today's step forward, Illinois is not out of the woods yet. Wednesday, a major bond house put the state under review for a possible credit downgrade, citing that this package does not address the state's underfunded pensions or do enough to pay down bills. Reporting from the House Gallery, Rachel Droz, News